Hey there, folks. It's your old buddy Gerald here. Hey, man. Just a heads up, I'm getting ready to start my live uh, Twitch here. So just give me two seconds, and uh, <clears throat> we'll get this puppy started here, okay? So, anyway, how you guys doing? Welcome to the podcast. Welcome to, uh, with your old... With your old buddy Gerald here. Let me make sure this is going to work here, so I can actually be able to... I don't want that fan blasting in people's faces. So I'll just set it over here by me. All right, let's see. There we go. But anyway, hey man, what is happening with y'all? Um, yeah. All right, so here's the deal. My name is Gerald, and if this is your uh, very first time on my YouTube, on my YouTube channel, welcome aboard. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment. And do all that bullcrap junk. And we're gonna we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have fun tonight. We're actually gonna do something a little bit different. Um, this term as uh, when it comes to uh, playing guitar. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I uh, have on Twitch, and like I said, if you guys don't have Twitch or you don't want to mess with it, and you want to wait for the live stream. Or you want to wait for the YouTube for me to upload the video? I've actually switched things around a little bit. I'm actually using the the when I'm my stream over here, and I'm using the main camera when I record now to uh, facing me, so it's in front of me. That way, you guys would be able to get a better uh, viewing experience because, well, their videos are pretty much gone off of a Twitch anyway after a certain amount of time, so. I'm just going to wait for some more people to get in here. I don't know where Jumpin' James is. Welcome to Okay, so. But anyway, how y'all doing, man? Welcome to, uh, with your old buddy Gerald here. Um, yeah. So, I have a guitar here in front of me right here. Okay, this right here is a, is a beautiful mess. This right here is my, uh, D.R. Mond, um, Dermon, whatever, a dermatologist, <laughs> um, guitar. Okay, it's like a guild guitar type of uh, thing, you know, which, um, okay, which Fender purchased, but anyway. Um, this has the uh, two humbuckers right here, okay. I chromed it all out. I chromed it to heck and back. Um, I put a, a roller bridge saddle on it right here. Um, it's got the stock tail piece, which does not come off when you take the strings off, unlike a Regular Gibson Les Paul. Oh, wait, I'll show everybody else over here on this side. Um, yep, got the pickup covers on there, the flush pickup mounting rings, because it gives you more sustain. Okay, and like Les Pauls that have the real thick uh, humbucker pickup mounting rings, which are up here, which is plastic anyway. These are steel. Okay, and everything is flush mount to the body. It just looks incredible. Got some big old honking bass knobs on there. Got some manly knobs on that thing. I did the um, big block inlays at a cost of $4. Okay, got some new strings on it, got some OptiWebs on it. Uh, and yeah, that's about, uh, that's about all there is to it. Um, I really love and I really enjoy playing this. Uh, I really enjoy messing around on this guitar. It's, it's just an awesome... Um, well, let's see. There's Jumpin' James. What you know there, partner? What you know? What's what's my buddy up to tonight? You wanna hang out here for a few minutes and check out and check out check out groovy stuff? I'm trying to make sure that uh, that's all right. Hopefully, uh, my man, you can hear me. You can see me good. But like I said, I've got the main camera focused over here on me. Um, so yeah, that's better. But yeah, man, it's. Uh, it's awesome. It's smoking. Um... Now, I'll tell you guys right now, uh, me being a country picker, um, I like to do the bend behind the nut. So like the George Jones stuff, you know, he stopped loving her today and all that stuff. Um, I like to, you know, be able to do that. But like on most Les Pauls, you know, with tilt back headstocks and all that stuff well can't do it but i can actually 
do get away with it on this one. And the tilt is not bad. It's you know it's like a typical Les Paul or whatever. It's tilt back just a little bit. But I can actually bend behind that 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 nut. See, I can even do on the D. Okay, then I can go to my... Okay, so that's really cool. I love, I love doing bends, string bends. check that out Isn't that awesome or what see that's one thing about being a country picker you guys that play rock and all that stuff you can't do that Welcome to you up this oh yeah i haven't i ain't missing no beat with missing no beat with my man um i've actually sent him comments um we'll have to we we'll have to send him some more and uh see what see what he's uh doing uh, James, my man, I'm sure you've probably sent him comments and stuff, and he's just got so many, you know, like so many peoples now. Um, but I remember the very first video I commented on his, it was in 2009, so 13 years of, of this, man. Um, I mean, it's, it's incredible. He really is. He's... And, and keeping up with Scott and keeping up with the Joneses. <laughs> actually, no, he was actually the one that actually really turned me on to doing the uh, the uh, the bends, the the country stuff. Because you know, like him, I'm a guitar player. Okay, I just wish that you could do bends like you can on a Strat, you know what I mean? Okay, I just wish you could uh, do that. But you can't, um, and that's one thing that I really don't like about Les Pauls is because you can't do that, is you can't bend because of the tilt back headstocks, okay? Um, so yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys will be able to see me well. Everybody else on here, just, uh, you guys don't have to do anything. The only thing you guys got to do is watch. <laughs> All right. Where the hell did my damn... Where the hell did my damn... Oh, but okay. It's a groovy, it's a groovy axe. But I tell you what, you guys want to see something, you want to see something awesome of what I can actually do with this Les Paul. I can actually bend on this thing. I can make it sound like this. Now I'm going to turn this, turn this uh, guitar up just a little bit. I'm going to turn this up where you'll be able to hear this better. Well, like, just like the regular bends and crap I showed you before. This bridge right here has got, there's plenty of space between the bridge and that tailpiece. So I can actually bend behind that bridge. This is something that I've always wanted to try. This is something I always wanted to try was bend behind that bridge. Check this out. So if I'm doing like a, uh, like if I'm in the key of G and I'm, okay. And it does, and I can do either one of the strings. So it's just like a B bender. I can use a B bender, a D bender, a G bender, an A bender, any kind of bender I want. Um, heck, just like a just like a F chord. Okay. So then I can just take that G, then I can just bend a half a step down on that B string on the bridge. Check this out when I do the when I do the F. And I'm hammering my pinky on the third fret of the G string. See, then I can just bend on that B string and go a whole step up. And I go from a 
from the from the one chord from the F to the B flat and I don't have to do anything. Take it up to a G, the same thing. Then I just repeat. Um, isn't that cool? Um, actually bend a step and a half behind that nut because of that roller that bridge see nobody ever thought about bending behind the bridge before but we always talk about bending behind the nuts but this is like a Les Paul style guitar that I can do you know hear that is that awesome or what you ever seen anybody do that <laughs> now that's just awesome especially like after doing a song like that man isn't that, isn't that awesome? Sounds good. What do you think of that, partner? So, if I'm in the A and I want to go to the E, to the... Okay. I can, you know, go to, go to D. step down on that G string and I can go from my one chord to my four chord okay and it's just incredible or heck I can even do it in C I can go from my C okay okay watch this do that on any other kind of Les Paul because the tailpiece is too close to the to the uh, to the bridge okay um, so that's really awesome I just like I said I just wanted to show you guys that um, yeah go up here and then I can still do my, you know my just awesome especially like if you're doing the uh... so it's just it's just incredible but I've always wanted to try that and I don't know why um, it just sound it just intrigued me I was like I want to play around with that and really see what I can uh, just see what I can hopefully you guys are still with me um, but hey, man, we're going to uh, actually do a little bit of. So what do y'all think of that? All y'all out there on YouTube. See, that's what I mean. That's why I like about this guitar because that tail piece. Nobody ever thought about, you know, been behind that bridge. And this, you know, like I said, this is, again, a country guitar. I know I like to spend a lot of time talking about my axes, but. You know, that's uh, that's what you get. See, it, I mean, it it has that. So, um, but nah, what the heck are we doing? That sounds Gibson esque, don't it? Actually.
anyway, how you guys doing? What has y'all been up to tonight, man? What you guys got going on in your world? Thank you, partner. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my man. Thank you. Um, let's see here. What do I have on the menu? Do I have anything on the menu? I should have. Uh, um. Uh, well, hang on, y'all. Let me plug up the. Uh, let me plug up my. Um, let me plug up. Let me get my Wi-Fi thing going up in here. I'm still wild and free. Okay. What do you guys think of that song? That uh, new song by Kenny Chesney. It's called, uh, oh heck, Knowing You. Um, so, where in the heck is my thing to get online with? My thing to get online with. Hey, but like I said, man, it's, uh, it's a privilege and an honor to come in here and do this for y'all once again. Um, we're not going to have uh, we're not going to have a lesson this week because I'm going to be getting ready for the uh, for the assistant living gig over at the Villas of Jackson. I believe that's Amy. Okay, so Miami, Miami. <laughs> um, yeah, it's bad about Keith Whitley, wasn't it, y'all? So I can't find it. We'll just hang out here. We'll just talk about guitar for a little bit. Whoa! Sorry about that, y'all. Didn't mean to do that to y'all, man. Good grief. Oh, if I can't find it, we'll just we'll just stick to doing guitar and let me fix this around. Speaker. Let's do it this way. Alrighty. Let's do it this way, homie. Hey y'all. Your old buddy Gerald. Um but yeah, that blue stuff. We actually talked, we actually covered that a little bit. Um, and like I said, man, hopefully all y'all be able to, uh, can still see me good. Um, so yeah, man, I'm not, we're just hanging out. We're, I'm acting silly, crazy, not me, 18. Oh, he's going into Walmart. He's see, he's he's now see that's a that's a true patriot right there, folks. He's he's listening to the Twitch while going down the road. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Yep, he see he he knows all the all the tricks. But anybody else that's out there watching, uh, watching the live Twitch. Come on ahead and jump up, jump up in here. Um, you guys would be, uh, you'd be glad you did. Um, oh yeah, and we're using a new phone today um, to record. Um, so, and I believe I found it, y'all. I believe my stupid fan. There it is, by gummit. There it is. Hey, y'all ain't doing nothing but hanging out here with your old buddy Gerald anyway. So hey. Any, like I said, anybody else watching, come on, come on over and check out my YouTube channel, Gerald Ray. Um, I'll be broadcasting live at 2 o'clock p.m. on Friday the 8th at the Villas of Jackson. So you guys just come on over there, and it'll be at 2 o'clock p.m. Central Time, my time. Um, so that's 1 o'clock uh, Mountain Time, noon uh, Pacific Time. And about nine o'clock, um, Hawaii time. Oh, and uh, I believe it's ten o'clock Alaska time. Okay, <laughs> and three o'clock Eastern time, and uh, whatever time it would be in, uh, okay, Russia. Um, I tell y'all, but hey man, let me plug this up because I've got a groovy song here we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a Actually, I've been looking at some Charlie Pride stuff, and you know, shame on me for not doing very much of Charlie Pride stuff. Man, I'll tell you what, he had some good songs. Um, he's got Between You and Me, uh, Is Anybody Going to San Antone, um, and another one, uh, She's Just an Old, um, She's Just an Old Love Turn Memory. Don't know if you guys have heard that one, but, um, and, um, 
some uh, Randy Travis stuff too. So that's what we're going to be doing. Like I said, I'll give y'all a couple of songs here tonight so you guys don't come in here and expect me to shred. That's one thing I don't do. I'm, I, uh, <laughs> I don't shred. I don't play metal or any of that stuff. I'm a country picker. And, hey, that's, uh, that's what I am. Um, so, yep, got my, got my little cheater here, which actually could actually be used as a tool. So, um, hey, guys that use capos are smart because, like, if you're in the key of A, I don't know where I'm going with this, but, you know, like, if you guys are playing an A... tuning when you guys are really tuning um when you're using your tuners at home don't just do the string like this no whenever you guys are tuning up because you don't play your guitar strings soft you play your guitar strings so don't when you're tuning your guitar don't do this just do it like this and just keep it going not just like this Oh, I'm in tune a little bit. Oh, got to go up a little bit. Got to go down. No, you just... Until you see that green stay. Until you, until you see that green on there. When you Then you go into the next string. And when you see that green, do the same thing. On the G, the same thing. Just don't tune up like this. No, because you don't play your guitar that way. You strum it. Just like on your B string and on your E string. When you guys are really tuning before you tune out there, then you'll be in tune a lot better. Okay? So there's a little tip from your old buddy Gerald. Ah, and see, that's a lesson right there. We don't even have to go over that no more. Okay, just try it before you before you deny it. So now if I'm in the, if I have my uh, capo on the uh, second fret, now I can utilize those open notes, those open strings, bar chords I can do that okay like a half a step and then yes you can do that on the uh, electric guitar see Thank <laughs> you. 
awesome, awesome, awesome as, as eating cake. So, man, I, I you know, I, I love to experiment around on the guitar. I really do. So he's going into the Wally world. So, I'll tell you what. Um, guitar play rhythm with it go to a uh, do a do a session do an acoustic session i mean it's sure it's electric but you know you don't have to play acoustics all the time to uh i mean you could do a whole set just with you and your guitar um <laughs> <laughs> he likes that song. Um, and the Sheriff of Boone County. Um, so, man, what do you guys think of this? We're just hanging out here. We don't got to, not doing anything special. Just hanging out here with y'all because, uh, well, I, uh, well, because I feel like it. Okay, so I guess he's still, I guess he's still in the Walmart. Man, I really... All right, all right. Um, 
Let me see what I can't do with this stupid phone, y'all. Um, so, but like I said, I just wanted to come in here and say howdy, y'all. Okay, get your mini pearl, your mini pearl thing going. Um, grab me a drink. So, I'm not doing anything, just bull crapping around. Um, let's see. Hey, I tell you, one of my favorite songs to do. Speaking of that, you know, guys, know last year, 2021, we lost uh, Doug Supernall. I think he'd passed of COVID too. No, I think it was, uh, I think it was actually a heart attack, I believe. So I'm actually gonna do. Uh, I'm actually, you know what? Let's just do a couple of his songs. Heck, I haven't, I haven't done no Doug Supernall songs in a while. Shame on me. I've actually got my computer brought up. I've actually got my computer up here tonight, y'all. So, uh, let me just, uh, cue him up, who? Cue him up here. Gosh. Boy, I can't even talk no more, y'all. <laughs> All right. So, here's a little bit of Doug Supernal. Um, let me find the track. Yeah, heck, this one will This one will work. I'm just doing this off of YouTube. Man. Um,. So yeah, I'm using actually an iPhone 13 to uh, record this, so you guys get a good. It's a hundred and uh, it's a hundred. It's a hundred and twenty-eight gigabyte model. Sit over here by me. <clears throat> All right, y'all, here we go. Let's do a little bit of Reno and some Doug Supernall. Yeah, here we go. <laughs>
Cause I'm telling y'all, <laughs> she's a lot like Reno. Couldn't roll on me a seven if you gave me a load of dice. Watch this, y'all. go what you think a little bit of some Doug super no 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 okay <laughs> George you're crazy you're crazy is it yeah it is yeah it is partner you you uh you're on your way home and you pick him up he got him a pick him up y'all he got him a pick him up boy okay um so yeah it really is um hey speaking of uh, uh telling you guys about um, Charlie Pride, I actually, actually got one of his that I'm going to do for y'all. Um, whoop, let's see, to God. I saw your face, and I seen it. And it was right there, and I kept punching him and punching him. And I said, what are you going to give me the freaking change? <laughs> Never mind. Good God, lady. Come on, this whole this stupid thing. I'll tell you what, y'all. A lot of crazy, crazy, crazy people out there, boy. Let me bring up Chrome again. I know, I, I know, I'm crazy. I know, y'all. It's uh, it's bad, isn't it? It's <laughs> it's really bad. Um, but hey, man, like I said, this is what you see. And uh, you guys, let me know what you think about this camera. Um, yeah, James, my man, I actually went and got a uh, iPhone case for it today. I uh, got it at Walmart. It's a bullcrap case. It's like thirteen bucks until I get the uh, until I get that Defender. Basically, it's like a generic version of the OtterBox. And it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty tough. Cause I'm gonna be careful, you know, careful with it anyway. Um, and then this week we're going to a Paducah. Hey, we're going to go to James Sanders Nursery. That's an honest to heaven's place. That's an actual place. Um, James Sanders Nursery. Okay, for real, my man. You should sue him. You should get royalties for that. You should at least get a hundred dollars. Um. <laughs> yep. And heck, he's got James Sanders Boulevard, James Sanders um, um, Nursery. Okay, you know, for plants, not babies, you know, plants, you know, nurseries. Uh, you guys remember Muppet Babies? I'm sure Jumpin' James does because he's he remembers real cartoons, don't you, partner? Um... Let's just see what I bring up here. And this will be a new one that I do on the, uh, when I do with the assistant living. My lands, where is it? Where's the song? The spectrum thing here, I don't know. Let me try it again. Yeah, you guys are good to see Becky. She's awesome, man. I mean, let me tell you something. Becky's really awesome. And like I said, man, we're going to be doing this quite a few times. So every time I do want to do another video here for you guys on YouTube, I'm going to live, I'm going to live uh, stream it. It'll be a Twitch. So basically, um, it's, uh, it's all groovy. Because, you know, like I said, Twitch gets rid of your videos. and So now I've got the main camera focusing on me so you guys will be able to see me better. Especially if we're doing guitar lessons. I mean guitar lessons. <laughs> oh, I reached out to the, uh, the songwriter, the uh, songwriters association, and uh, the Nashville Songwriters Association, uh, James, my man, and they uh, they want to hear from me, so I'm gonna be calling them. And uh, hey, I think that's the next thing, the next level. Of what I want to do with this whole music thing. I mean, yeah, I love enjoy playing music and. 
singing and doing all that stuff for you guys and giving you lessons, but I want to go to that next level as uh, uh, write songs for people, you know, and uh, and all in this whole thing. Um, I, you know, still do lessons and stuff, but taking it to the next level and doing that on a uh, big, big deal like that, that's, that's a big deal. So, um, we'll, uh, wait to hear back from them. I sent them a message earlier today and all that stuff. What do you think of that, partner? Is that groovy or what? Yeah. If you, I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but I'm sure y'all can probably hear his, uh, hear his, uh, response. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see what I have here. Yeah, it was, um, I actually got the, I actually got the series. I'm, I'm going to put them on, on my phone here. But, but no, y'all, I want to go to the next level, go to the next step of share, sharing my talent. What in the world happened here? Well, something just happened. thing this guitar needs now is some Grovers. It's some locking Grovers, all right? Um, is anybody going to San Antonio, Phoenix, Arizona? Um, let's try this again. So, um, yeah, man. So, and like I said, we'll come back Monday night, or well, we're, we won't be here Tuesday. Um, so Monday night, we'll come back, and we'll and I'll do a couple songs here for you guys. Rain dripping off the brim of my hat. Sure is cold today. Here I am walking down. 66. Wish she hadn't done me that way. Sleeping under a table at a roadside park. A man could wake up dead. But at least it's warmer than it is. And sleeping in our king size bed. Is anybody going to say? One of my favorite ones, you know. 
Yeah, it is. Isn't this great, y'all? I mean, what seriously? What did, what in the world do you guys got better to you know to do than hang out here with your old buddy Joel on a Saturday night? Um, what are we going to do tomorrow? Huh? It's going to be another day. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, man, it's just coming in here. We're just we're having just a little powwow, and this will be uploaded to YouTube. Um, like I said, using the main camera to record, I've got the other camera over here. That's all for the Samp the A zero two S. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all some F five G is bad boy. It kicks butt. Um, I did a test with uh, took her iPhone eleven that she had, the four G off the uh, Straight Talk, and downloaded a app. It's like Traffic Traffic Rider. In case where you race the motorcycle, or whatever. It took about it took probably about a good minute to download that because you know. But with that 5G, it only took like, the same, you know, the same app, everything, it took like two seconds. So, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's something. I'm, we're, uh, we're impressed. Um, so, what else do I have here in my, in my goodie bag of arsenals? <laughs> um, we actually watched iRobot tonight with uh, Will Smith. Um, so, boy, everybody's just making up to that. That's just a big deal, man. Oh, my goodness. You know, what about, you know, Chicago and Seattle and, you know, Pelosi country, <sighs> Detroit, the Motor City, my man, Mike. Mm, okay. What about, you know, a 14-year-old boy that fell to his death? But no, they don't care about that. They only care about Will Smith. You know, he's so bad. <laughs> it's like, come on, people. Just once again, it's a cover-up, y'all. Covering up something else, isn't it? So, <laughs> hey, y'all, it's all, uh, it's, uh, it's creepy. Um, uh, let's see. You guys familiar with uh, Daryl Dodd? James, my man, you familiar with Daryl Dodd? He actually did. He actually did a couple of songs. Um, so Roger Miller and Tom T. Hall did a song years ago called "That's How I Got to Memphis." Um, I believe Tom Tom T. Hall did it first, and I believe Roger Miller did it. Um, but Daryl Dodd came along and he did it. And it was in the '90s and. He's just actually got a great, uh, great version. Let me do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that song here for you guys. Um, um, and um, uh, I was gonna say something else. What was I gonna say? Um, like I said, yeah, we lost Doug Super and all. We um, lost Kevin Sharp almost ten years ago. He was in his 40s, the one that did, you know, nobody knows it but me. Um, I was going to say something else. What the heck else was I going to say? I must not be important. Um, <laughs> hmm. So. Oh. Um, Neil McCoy. Um working on some of his stuff. Um, if it don't work out, which uh, Eddie Arnold did first. So, if it don't work out, then you can tell me goodbye. Um, and Leroy Parnell, you getting into some, you getting into some, actually some singers that were just weren't recognized. You know, Leroy Parnell, Neil McCoy, and, um, you know, Red Aikens. That ain't my truck. I mean, come on, man. There was some good stuff in the '90s. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Just, uh, and you know, to tell Randy Travis you're too country. <laughs> yeah, that's just like saying you're too. Well, I didn't want to say that. All right, y'all. Let's see what I got here. Hopefully. That's how I got 
not the Memphis. Oh. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm off. Hold on a minute, y'all. Yeah, I like using... Actually, I like using the capo because, like I said, with the... Uh, Let's try that again. Hopefully, well, this will be a good practice here for y'all. Skip a rope. <laughs> I don't have to do that song. I can't help it. If you love somebody enough, you'll follow wherever they go. That's how I got to Memphis. If you love somebody enough, you'll go where their heart wants to go. That's how I got to Memphis. That's how I got to Memphis. I know if you see her, you tell me. So to, so uh, to do the uh, for the uh, the ending of that, see, and there is how that works. At the end of the song, I can put that in there, and man, people are just gonna look at you like, what the heck does this happen? Where's this? Did they got a pedal steel player? <laughs> no, no pedal steel, just some guy, you know. Sometimes these songs, when you get the karaoke stuff, folks, you're going to find out that they're maybe a half a cent slow or whatever. It's because, you know, they don't play them in like their regular keys. It's like a little, it's like a half step off, like a half a cent or whatever. You know, like two tunings in 440. So it could be like, you know, 439 or something like that. 
You you won't be able to notice it, but it's but there it is. But it's there. You won't be able to notice it. You'll think it is, but it's actually off kilter a little bit. It's off a cent or a couple cents. Okay. So what do you think of that, James, my man? That's country right there, bull. Like I said, y'all, I'm a mostly a country picker. Okay, I don't do no, you know. All right, partner. Well, like I said, this this thing will be uh, this thing will be uploaded to YouTube, and that big old iPhone is doing the trick. Um, so yeah, I'll tell you what, folks. Let's, what do you say we do another song and then get on up out of here? One of my favorite songs, and I'm sure you guys probably know what it is. The guitar goes away, and I'm gonna do one one more song for y'all here. This will actually be a good, good. Uh, this will actually be a good test for the for the five uh, G. Um, you don't realize how thirsty you guys can get when doing this. But like I said, man, I really want to just take my thing to the next level here and uh, write songs. Um, so. But hey, but I'll still be here for you guys to, uh, whatever you guys want to talk about, maybe you guys want to talk about, hey, I got a big old mean, big bad, yeah, I'm a hall keyboard over here that's begging for some attention. I got some Austin guitars up here, which actually we need to do a video of, is showing you the different sounds of these things. Um, so, yeah, I'll be playing guitar for, come September, it'll be 21 years, and bass guitar will be 20 years, so. Between that, that's 40 years of, of uh, music, and then 30 years of the uh, keyboard. Um, so, since I was about five, since about 1990, so, yep, over, well, almost 32 years. <laughs> yep, so, good Lord, over, over 30 years of playing music, of doing this thing, man, and just sharing my, uh, I don't know if you'd call it, just sharing my, uh, just sharing what I learned over the years and learning it from people myself because I learned from people. And uh, I just appreciate y'all hanging out here and uh, just sharing some part of my world with you um, because I told you we're going to be doing a whole whole bunch of stuff here on my Gerald Brace channel. Alrighty, y'all. Let me quit playing around. Um, so, yes, I'm using Windows 7. <laughs> I'm using Windows 7 desktop, so don't mind me. Um, I love Windows 7. Um, so, and by the way, if you guys can't get enough of this, go back and check out many, many, many gig videos. I've got a bunch of gig videos me doing over at Big E's, uh, over in Chaffee, at the casino, um, assistant livings, all kind of stuff. There's all kind of gigs you guys could go check out. And if you guys want to go check it out, um, check out the one of me, um, like I said, this playing over at the Villa of Jackson and then, <clears throat> so, and then on the 8th of, uh, April, so that's this coming Friday, we'll be over at the Villa of Jackson again, and you guys get to see Becky Becky, she's awesome. Um, so this song right here, attention. see here so I'll have this sucker uploaded to a YouTube here in a little while let me make sure this is the right this is the right cut let me make sure this is the right cut y'all boys uh, I, I used to have uh, YouTube premium a long time ago but I ain't gonna do it no more I don't do it no more song here. This is for those of you guys that have never heard this song before. Well, you guys are going to be in for a treat. This right here happens to be... 
One of my favorite ones to close on. Check this out. Okay, I just want to make sure that, that was the right one. All right, y'all, let me start that over. This right here. Um, I actually had my brother, my buddy Steve, Steve Paul. Cried on this one. Um, Y'all see, her. check this out, folks. She remembers when he first proposed on a bent knee ring and a rose on a summer day. It was warm and breezy. But when he came to visit yesterday, and she couldn't remember his first name after fifty years, well that. He didn't want to scare her He sat all night in the corner of a chair Rain or shine, he was always there And on a good day She remembered And he smiled with her And he laughed with her favorite songs um you know very 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 awesome man i <laughs> i love doing this stuff especially for y'all um you guys are just awesome man and for many years of putting up with my camaraderie and uh, and uh all that stuff let's see jumpin james you there he is yeah, it was, partner. The stupid thing could have. Yeah, it was. That's one of my favorites right there, partner. I like doing that. Any chance, any chance I can. Yeah, I know it's gonna be. It'll be on YouTube. Um, so you guys just, uh, I'll I'll remind you guys. So those of you that follow me, it'll be, it'll be on uh, YouTube. So it'll be like you'll be right there, and you guys will get to meet Fiona. Um, you know the. The lady, the, the one that uh, fell, um, she's uh, she turned 100 years old since we saw her last. 
and she's just incredible. Um, hip replacement, she, she gets around better than me. She, she, it's, it's just amazing. Um, but you guys just, uh, man, you all have a good night. And I'm going to go upload this sucker right now to YouTube, and we'll just see how, how this works. Um, so, how fast is the 5G? Um, you could put it, you could compare it to like this. It's about 10 gigabytes per second. Okay? Think about that. The internet here that we got now is like 200 megabits per second. But think about that. 10 gigabytes per second. Think of that. 10 gigabytes per second. It's crazy. Um, so, but the real test will come, like I said, Tuesday when we go over there, back across the river, back over in Illinois, and uh, we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes. Um, but uh, anyway, that's it. So, jumping, James, my man. Um, I hope you made it back home safe. And it's pick 'em up. <laughs> so. Maybe I have to, might have to do the Joe Diffie song for you. Pickup Man. Um, that's another one that I'll add to the list. Um, Johnny Rodriguez. Yeah, I'll do some of that. Um, yeah. Just all kind of stuff. All right, y'all. Y'all be groovy. White, white, well, wacky weather, man. <laughs> so, yep. So, man, it was just great coming out here, just hanging out with y'all. And, um... Oh, yeah, he's the bass player at, uh, at his church. And by the way, you guys go over there and subscribe to his channel. Um, so go over there and you guys want to check out some groovy stuff, man. The best stuff you can find, check it out. Um, he's uh, incredible. Okay. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. My man, Groovy. Okay, yep, we tweet, we, we tweet each other all the time. <laughs> um... They got to be really playing in those four flats and all that stuff. But like I said, you guys can go back and check out this whole thing with the uh, lessons. Um, so, yeah, we'll do this again Monday. Um, come in here and do some more songs. And I'm going to work on some more tomorrow and Monday. And that'll be it. So, yep, you guys go subscribe. To uh, my man Jumpin' James, he'd appreciate that. I'd appreciate that too. Let's get him a million followers, subs. Okay. Okay. So, yep. That's all. That's awesome. He he gets the songs at the last minute, so he'll get the church, and then he's got to be he's got to be on, on there. Um, yeah, I've had to do that too. I didn't have no idea what the church was when I was the bass player at Maple Grove. Um, I didn't have any idea what songs we was going to do, but, you know, I just got familiar with them as I did. You know, it only took me, what, five seconds to figure out the song. Um, and he actually, I think he did, did it himself. He, he taught himself the Nashville number system. That's awesome. Anybody that can do that because he's just listening to the people at church saying, this is in the one, the four. And he figured, and he, he got it. He, he learned, he knows the Nashville number system. That's just, that's incredible, man. That's, that's just, that's just so flipping cool. It really is. And and he didn't know he was doing that. It's just the one thing about, you know, reading sheet music. Or just playing by ear. You don't know you're doing it until all of a sudden you've done it. So he didn't know that he was, that he even learned the Nashville number system to play music. He didn't know that. But he, he actually did when he, basically he surprised him. He said, hey, man. I know it. Of course. Of course you do, partner. <laughs> um, he learned it, and he didn't even know he was doing it. He was just doing it, just for what the heck. But then he realized, wait a minute. Did nobody have to teach him that? Did nobody have to teach him that? He learned it on his own, and he didn't know it. <laughs> now, that's awesome, man. See, I love it when you know that you're doing learning something, and you don't know it. It's like, surprise yourself, didn't it, partner? Yeah, see, he's, see, he's, uh, I think some of that, uh, reverb and some of that effect stuff is gonna get him, getting him interested in doing that. Because, like I said, Tiz, um, put all that kind of stuff on his pedals, and so, yeah, man, um, no Victor Wooten, 
Um, he ran circles around Victor Wooten, you know, uh, Bela Fleck and, you know, Bela and Fleck tones. Okay. Uh, so, but like I said, he played lead. He's, he was bad. So, um, so yeah, I'm hoping that, um, like I said, I haven't heard from uh, my man OT yet about playing, doing a gig. I'm going to have to call that rascal and just see exactly what what he's up to and see well, what what's he going to do about this band thing yet. Um, you know, if we're going to do something, by golly, let's, uh, let's do this. Um, but, hey, man, we could just sit here and talk all night and everything. But um, you guys all be groovy, man. Hey, we'll do it again here Monday. Uh, we'll come back in here, say about 8.30ish, somewhere in there, okay? Um, yep. So that's it. We're going to end this thing. Uh, my man, Jumpin' James, we'll catch him on Twitter. And everybody else, I'll see y'all on the down low. And uh, you guys just have a groovy night. All right, y'all, we're going to end the... Uh, all right there, partner. Checkmate. Check it like a boss. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right, you guys. Um, that's it. You guys have a groovy night. Uh, you're all ready, Gerald. It was an awesome Twitch. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, comment, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all later.